What's up? How are you guys today? We're going to do a quick day of eating what I eat in a day because I have not had one good night's sleep ever since I moved into this apartment. Haven't really had the patience to make like longer, more in-depth videos. I honestly don't know what it is. Maybe I need to spend less time on my phone or uh, it could be the air quality. Hopefully things get a little better, but I'm probably gonna have to move in a few months anyway. So uh, when we change the living situation again, maybe I'll start feeling a little better, sleeping better. And I'm actually gonna uh, go tanning uh, for the first time this year today. So maybe the vitamin D will help me sleep, but we will see. We're starting with our overnight groats. If you guys missed the recipe, uh, we did it a few weeks ago. It's just some vanilla, honey, a little bit of oil, and uh, that's really it. A little bit of sugar too. Sometimes I put maple syrup, but overall just a really balanced carbohydrate source for breakfast to help start the liver detox throughout the day. Plenty of fiber, plenty of carbs, starch, a little bit of fat, a little bit of protein in the oats. And then we have our apple. That's going to add a little bit more gut motility and hydration and a little bit of dessert. Sometimes I'll have the protein for breakfast, sometimes I don't. Uh, I like having this without the protein because it really speeds up my digestion in the morning and then I get a lot hungrier for lunch. So maybe we'll swap it up for dinner too. Like I'll have protein for breakfast and lunch sometimes and then uh, I'll skip it for dinner. But it's, it's nice to give the digestive system a little bit of a break from the protein, uh, at least one meal a day. And because we're going to go tanning uh, in a little bit, I'm not going to take any supplements because certain ones can interact with your body's ability to absorb vitamin D. So, you know, if you're going to take magnesium, if you're going to take vitamin C, if you're going to take B vitamins, I would do it, you know, later in the day after you tan or, or just keep it separate on a different day. Uh, we're going to have some just glass bottle mineral water for breakfast. Uh, maybe we'll have some uh, water key for later with lunch. And of course, I'm going to have a teaspoon of mastic gum as I do with every meal uh, after we finish breakfast. So, uh, guys, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this and have my breakfast. And uh, I guess that's it. So we'll see you guys back for lunch. God, I got absolutely scorched outside. It's like 90 degrees in the middle of April in New York. I thought I was going to have a heat stroke. My head hurts so much, but... I uh, feel a little better now, and uh, warm barley soup is definitely not the, uh, the best thing to have on a 90 degree day with our peasant meal, our chunk of bread, uh, but this is what we've been having for lunch for you know the past few months now, just barley, onion, mushroom, uh, we got some flank steak in here today, as well as some of the beef stock and collagen broth from Frankie's Free Range Meat, and then put a little bit of oil in there and I was craving so much salt because I was sweating so much. I put like a tablespoon of salt in this. Um, we got our water kefir, our probiotic. I forgot to bring home the water kefir grains, uh, so I'll have to do that tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to take some vitamin B1 and vitamin B2 with lunch. I uh, would have probably taken some B vitamins in the morning if I knew my head was going to hurt so much. I might have prevented that. And then, uh, as usual with every meal, guys, we're going to have some mastigum too. So. I think you guys have seen this meal kind of identically uh, over the past several days of eating. The bread, you know, we have the recipe. We're doing homemade bread every single day. Uh, the soup, we have the recipe too in the Instant Pot. And then we have the peeled apples. So it's mostly a balance of different types of starches, carbohydrates, and sugars to keep the digestion moving, keep the liver detoxing. Small amount of animal protein, plenty of amino acids in the collagen broth. And uh, since everything is so high quality and organic, we do have an abundance of minerals as well. All washed down with the water kefir to help aid digestion a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, relax, enjoy my lunch, and probably lay down a few hours <laughs> uh, to recover from my headache. Bro, you guys, I look so dark. Look at my legs. Look how bad I got burned. Oh my God, I probably shouldn't go out again tomorrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for dinner and we finally have a change of pace from the beef udon noodles. Uh, we're doing beef negamaki with white quinoa and of course our organic honey crisp apple. 
This is actually a recipe we're gonna do on Saturday, so be sure to check that out. It's basically just some flank steak rolled up with some scallions. Really, really delicious, and I had some extra ingredients, so I decided to make it again today. And then the organic white quinoa was just made with mineral water in our Yum Asia rice cooker that you can see back here. Uh, but let's just do a little taste for you guys, and then we'll talk about the nutrition. So the beef negamaki with the glaze that we made for it. This is so delicious, guys. Definitely check out that recipe tomorrow. And the quinoa is just plain with some salt and a little bit of oil. I actually really like the quinoa. I just didn't put enough salt in it last time I tried it. Quinoa. Quinoa. So the flank steak in the form of our negamaki here is, of course, for the protein, the nutrients. Honestly, a little more protein than I normally have, more than I should have, but it's so tasty. I'm kind of treating myself. The white quinoa is a nice, healthy, minimally inflammatory whole grain. We're using it instead of rice after we kind of did the research on the arsenic concerns in rice. So I really, really like this as a whole grain. Uh, maybe we'll do a, a whole video on it after I do some more studies on it. We're going to have maybe one or two vitamin B1 capsules uh, for dinner to kind of alleviate the carbohydrate content as well as uh, some of the sugar from the apple, which is just adding more volume, more fiber. Nice little treat at the end of the meal. You guys know the deal. And then we have our masticum. We're going to finish off the meal with one teaspoon as usual. So the main difference here is we're just being a little creative and having a treat for our protein source. The white quinoa is a new carbohydrate, which is a nice balance of starch and fiber, and it also tastes very, very good. And we don't have to worry about too many pollution concerns as far as I know. And we're being minimal with our supplementing. Usually just for dinner, I'll have one or two vitamin B1. And then throughout the rest of the day, earlier on in the day, is when I'll have my minerals and my other B vitamins. And of course, the apple for dessert has been typical for us. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you go to frank stefanocom you'll see all of my businesses where you can get a lot of high-quality animal products on Frankie Syringe Meat. We have the water kefir, all the stuff for the bread, everything on Frankie Syringe Foods. And you can go on uh, organ supplements for the supplements, Wi-Fi shielding for the protective clothing I wear every day, and Frankie's Naturals for the hygiene and cosmetic products. So as always, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I will see you guys soon.